What's up guys, it's CJ Lipstrew from PocketNow.com. We recently took a look at the hardware of the HTC Droid Incredible, so in this video we'll be giving you a glimpse of some of the software you can expect out of Verizon's latest Android device. I think you'll see that HTC has worked hard in finding ways to enhance the Android experience through the Sense interface, widgets, and other customizations. They've done a fantastic job and it really seems to go a long way in making the experience more enjoyable for users. So let's get started. So first off we have HTC's custom uh, lock screen which displays the time, date, and notifications if you have any. Let's drag this bar down to unlock and we're instantly greeted with this amazing weather animation for current local conditions. Right now we have some clouds but if it was raining you'd see raindrops. If there was a thunderstorm you'd actually see some flashes of light mixed with the clouds. It's really an awesome unobtrusive way to keep updated with the weather. So starting at the top we have HTC's combo clock and weather widget. Let's go ahead and tap on the clock and it pulls up these handy time related tools. Notice the sweet looking slider down here at the bottom for navigating between all these items. You'll actually see this a lot because it's uh, something you can find throughout the Sense experience as you drill into different widgets and programs. So right now it looks like we have a clock for your desk. Moving over we can look up times uh, throughout the world settings for your alarms, a simple stopwatch, and a timer. So a really nice way to move through all of these different tabs here. So let's go home and we'll click on the weather. We get this nice extended view of the weather and if you had more cities added you can go ahead and flip through those. Let's go back again so here we have the calendar widget and we can pull up the next appointment or clicking on the date will actually bring up this beautiful calendar. Right now it's in month view but we can switch to agenda and if we go to menu we get some other options like week view. Let's go home. Down here we have some shortcuts. Here's the messaging app and again this nice slider for all messages text messages and picture mail or voicemail. Let's go to mail, same thing with that, received, conversations, group, unread, and attachments. People for all groups, online directories, and call history. So rather than having a simple app tray like on stock Android 2.1, HTC has this uh, larger uh, menu bar. The app tray can be pulled up from the left. And the dialer can be pulled up from the middle. Let's go ahead and go home. And the plus button will, of course, add different widgets, shortcuts, and folders. Of course, you can add, delete, or move widgets and shortcuts around seven different screens. Unfortunately, this can get a little tiresome because there are seven screens instead of five, like on Android uh, 2.1, the stock version of it. So HTC has decided to add a new feature called Leap. So if you pinch on any of these screens, you actually get this nice little overview of all seven screens at once. Now you can jump from one side all the way to the other side. So it's very convenient. So for uh, people who like one-handed usability, there's good news. HTC has also made it so you can access the Leap feature by pressing the home button when you're at the home screen. So again, really convenient for users that are big on one-handed usability. So let's go to the first screen and we'll actually take a look at the rest of the HTC widgets. Here's the weather widget and we've seen what it looks like inside of the weather program. 
So let's slide over. This is one of my favorite widgets, which is the text messaging widget. And we get the preview of the message with functions to uh, reply to or delete the message right from this widget. We can flip through all of your uh, text messages, drill into the messaging application, or compose a new message. Slide over, same thing with the emails. We get the previews and the functions at the bottom. We've already seen these. Here's a large finger-friendly uh, widget for bookmarks. And here's a new widget called FriendStream, which is basically like HTCP, which I'm sure you've heard of. If you haven't, it's uh, HTC's Twitter client. Uh, this is actually not only for Twitter, but this uh, aggregates also Facebook and Flickr into this nice stream of updates. So let's actually go into here, and here we have all updates, status updates, photos, and links. Let's go over here. Here we have the music player. So we can cycle through the different albums and songs. Let's go ahead and tap on it. We get the nice cover flow view. And here we have again the sense interface to sort through artists, albums, playlists, songs, genres, composers, and purchased. Okay, and those were widgets that I had set up on my layout of sense. I wanted to go ahead and show you some more HTC widgets so I cleared out my screens and I'll click the plus button go to widget and we already took a look at this bookmarks widget but we can get another view it's more of a, a traditional list view of bookmarks so that may be a choice for some people same with the calendar we have a larger calendar view here's an agenda view and the view I was using And here we have some clocks. There's the one I was using. There's a travel clock, compact clock, and a bunch of analog clocks to round them out. HTC footprints. This is for geotagging photos and viewing them through the widget. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody still uses this, but it's an option. Friend stream, mail and messaging widgets, the music widget. Here's one for notes. You can write on a notepad and then flick through all your different notes. Let's go back to the widgets. Here's a widget for contacts. You can have this large grid for your favorite contacts or you can slide over and pick this one column uh, favorite contacts widgets. If you like photos, here's a photo frame widget. Or even better, you can use the photo album. And you can basically flick through all of your photos. This guy kind of looks lost. Let's go ahead and tap on one. And we get to view our picture album. I kind of wish you could use the uh, 3D picture album you get with Android 2.1, but this isn't so bad. Let's go back to widgets, and we'll go down. Here's a, a Google search bar. Here's a widget for stocks. There's a large view, smaller view, and an even smaller view. So here's a tip calculator, today in history. Here's HTC Peep, the Twitter widget, and the widget for weather.
And finally, with so many different features to choose from, it's really hard to pick that perfect layout. So that's why HTC has a feature called Scenes, which allows you to set up different layouts and save them. So right now we're on Custom 1. Let's go to Custom 2. And as you can see, I set up an analog clock. I have a different live wallpaper. And of course, you can add different widgets and shortcuts. So if you have a layout you like during work hours, you can set that up. And then when you come home, you could switch to something you set up for leisure time or maybe for the weekend. So that about does it for the tour of HTC Sense interface. Although Android 2.1 is perfectly usable in its stock form, I think HTC brings it up a notch with some very stylish and cool features. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.